Hi, everyone. Welcome to our True Life Dream Team chat on a Tuesday. Yes. I'm Brianna Engel, Superstar Director. Alex Erickson, Star Director. And we are talking about tonight ways to work your business. And yes. this is just like a very in general across the board. We're talking to the hobbyists here. We're talking to those wanting to grow your business. We're talking to those anywhere on the spectrum. New consultants yep. wondering what to do next. Yep. 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 Um, or if you're wanting to take your business to the next level, some of these things you may not be doing yet, or you may need to up the ante on it a little bit. Um, but regardless, we just thought that this was a really important thing to touch on um, in this series. And right now is as good time as ever because uh, since he's on fire, since he's doing a lot of stuff for us and um, we're excited about it. So I hope you guys are too. And with all the excitement and the big collections that are coming and the flash sales and um, the things that are happening, especially right now, right? So it's like, it's March 22nd, 2022. So we have no idea when people will watch this, but right now in our, in Sensi, it's crazy. And so you may be completely overwhelmed with how do I even begin to share this stuff? What am I supposed to be doing right now? when there's so much fire or excitement. And then same can be said for when it's like not crazy. Um, how can you be working your biz? And so we uh, are going to dive into that tonight. So um, I'm going to kick it off and I'm going to be talking to the hobbyist consultants first. Um, so, or the people who are just here for the discount, right? And so if you fall into one of those categories or if you have teammates um you've sponsored somebody or maybe you have somebody who may be thinking about joining you can tag them in this replay um and and let them know that maybe it's a good opportunity for them to just hear this side of it how you can be working your business even as just a hobbyist or here for the discount because there are ways that you can work your business smarter that provides the most um value to whatever your goal is right so as a hobbyist consultant, maybe your goal is just to do the $200 every few months um, so you can stock up on your Sensi, let your friends and family stock up on theirs, or um, you may just be here for the discount. You may just be here to get the free and half off Sensi because you're addicted. And um, I just wanna let you know, 100% across the board, you are welcome here. You are loved here. Like there is room for everybody. Doesn't matter what your goal is with Sensi. We want you here and we're excited that you're here and we want to be able to feed you whatever you need as well. So that's why we're going to kick it off with the hobbyist or the just here for the discount because I think we are talking about it. Those are two different categories. Um, and so um, when we're talking about ways to work your business in that area um, as a hobbyist or just here for the discount, um, I think it's important to just make a general statement that consistency, which is something we talk about a lot, still matters here. Um, but I think that when we're talking about people who want big things for Sensi, for Sensi to be the vessel to your big dreams, um, for you to climb the ranks in Sensi, for you to make $10,000 paychecks, consistency is going to look different than a hobbyist who is trying to be consistent to make the most out of this opportunity, right? Um, but consistency is still a thing. And so um, what we're going to say to you is that working your business is going to require you to... Um, post, share, talk about Sensi regularly. Um, and that might be once a week for you. That might be once every two weeks. Um, maybe when you get paid is when you order Sensi. And so I'm going to encourage you, we're going to encourage you to um, tell your friends and family that you're placing an order because it's payday and if they need anything, right? Or throw up a social media post or um, send a quick text to five of your friends or whatever and ask them if they are interested in going in on the order with you because you're placing an order to stock up on your laundry stuff or your wax bars or whatever you may need. Um, and the reason that we're going to encourage you to do that and do it regularly, create some kind of schedule. So if it is payday, if it's once a week, whatever the case may be, we're going to encourage you to do that because what it does is that one, it provides value to you for what your goal is, which is getting your Sensi discounted, right? So the free and half off, because the more people that you invite to order with you, the higher your rewards climb, right? So as a consultant gathering, um, gathering orders from friends and family as a hobbyist consultant um, or across the board, but when you're gathering orders, 
you are racking up the free and half off Sensi because you are considered the host and we get rewards like a party host would and we're considered the host in that situation. So that's value to you, right? Because if you are placing an order um, and you're wanting to stock up on laundry and pods and wax, all of a sudden when you're gathering orders from a couple friends here and your mom and your sister, all of a sudden you can get that laundry um, bundle for half off now, right? And you can get your wax for free, right? Using the free credit. Um, and so that's valuable to you. And then not only that, but you are getting your friends and family what they want. Um, and maybe you even throw like a half off credit towards them or you let them use some of your discount. Like however you want to spin it, it's still valuable to you. And you reaching out and asking them or offering that or posting on social media costs you nothing, right? It absolutely costs you nothing to offer it to people around you to send that text message anything like that. It, and it's okay that you're not doing it full-time, that it's not your focus. Um, it's, it's still a value to you and it's still a value to them if they choose to take advantage of it. And you may text those friends and they say, no, I'm good. You may text your mom and she says, no, I don't need anything. You may throw up a social media post and nobody comments on it. That's okay. Still place your order, still get your sensi. And then the next week or the next couple of weeks or the, that next month, talk about it again, send that text message. Hey, I'm, I'm going to place my next order. Um, I'm going to stock up on this and this and this, or do you need anything? Right. Um, because every time it has value. And on the other side of that, when you are posting regularly, when you are sharing Sensi regularly, when you are talking about you placing your order, again, whatever schedule that looks like for you, you stay at the forefront of people's minds. Right. And again, as a hobbyist, it does you it's not a negative at all for more people to want to buy Scentsy from you. Why? Because at the bare minimum, it gets you more free and half off Scentsy. Mm -hmm. And on the ninth or 10th of every month, you get a paycheck that allows you to go spend that on whatever you want. And heck, you could turn around and spend it back on Scentsy and not have to take that out of your own pocket. So there is literally yeah. no negative. Yeah to you sharing Sensi with as many people as possible or getting referrals or staying at the forefront of people's minds and gathering those orders. Even just as a hobbies consultant, you don't have to work your business crazy like and do all the things and attend all the things. Like you don't have to do that for you to reap the benefits at the bottom level of what Sensi has for you as a consultant, right? Which is commissions and discounted products. Like that's, that's the bottom level of this business. Mm -hmm. And so um, to me, it doesn't make any sense to not just want to talk about it um, when you are doing your thing, right? Which is placing an order for yourself. And so the more that you do that, the more consistent you are with doing that. Um, people may not comment, like, write you back nothing for a really long time. And then all of a sudden when they say, oh, you know what? I actually really love that warmer that I saw somewhere. They're going to come to you. Mm -hmm. And that, again, that just adds to the benefit of commissions pay, right? Cause you get paid. Um, and then your discounted products for yourself or discounted products that you want to give to whoever. Um, and so as a hobbies consultant or those here for the discount, we really want to just encourage you to just provide value for those around you in sharing Sensi, right? Because you liked it enough to join you love the product so much that you um, want to be able to get them at a discount or that you're interested in buying them long-term, which is why you became a consultant, whatever the case may be, why wouldn't you just talk about it every once in a while, right? Um, so uh, yeah, that's, that's, I think that covers it. Yeah, for totally. That. Yeah. I agree. And so hobbyist can change their mind too, right? They can say, oh, this is pretty cool. People are really loving this. Like, let me try some new things. And that's amazing, right? And that is the progression that does happen sometimes is people are in there and they're seeing how much people love it and that they're doing pretty dang good. And so they're, you know, more excited and they're sharing a little bit more and then it grows, right? And so um, if you are trying to find new ways to work, um, whether you're the hobbyist wanting more or your new consultant wanting to discover new ways. Um, these are just going to be a few avenues that you can take um, that we have found work really well and are kind of um, 
staple ways to work your business. But I do want to say that there's a million different ways to work your Cincy business. Like this is one video of thousands on the internet, whether it's your workstation or YouTube or the team page of different ways to work your business. Right. And if you hear something that we say that sparks an interest, just know there is a wealth of information on any of these topics. You just have to search for it. Okay. Um, we've done millions of videos on some of the things we're talking about as well as all over the internet. And that is what I love about Sensi, especially in the last, um, four to five years is the content that is available for consultants is so vast and you can literally find anything if you're looking for it. And so um, hopefully these ideas will spark your interest um, or maybe you're like, yeah, I'm doing all that. Like that feels awesome. And so great. Um, and just know if there's something you want to learn more about, just jot it down. And then tomorrow or, you know, when you're working your business, go search for a training video on a specific topic and learn more and try to implement it because that's, um, when you do that consistently, try new things here and there, um, then all of a sudden you've got a pretty awesome arsenal of things Tools. and different ways to work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and I want to take it, I want to encourage you guys to take it a step further. If you find something that works for you, um, or that you think is a really great idea and you want to implement it, share it with us. Please share it. Yes. Yeah. Because what sparks something for you, we have how many people are on true life? Like as a group, we're almost at a thousand consultants in our group so best believe yes we don't speak the same language to everyone on this group like we don't speak to the heart of all everybody yeah, no here. way we there's no way we could no and so but a video that you share may speak to someone and totally change the game for them yep and that's what we want it doesn't have to be no. anything that comes out of our mouths yep. we know that that's not true and that will never happen and same for you leaders understand that you are not speaking the same love language, the same language as everybody on your team. And, and that's good. And it's okay. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why we should be sharing content of other leaders, mm -hmm. other consultants, new consultants who have these wild ideas. Yes. So, so those are some of the best ideas come out of new consultants they because they have fresh eyes yep. and um, you know, they aren't doing everything that we're already doing, right. you know, they come in and see it from a whole new perspective. I learn so much from other consultants mm -hmm. all Me the too. time, like all the time. And so, yes, that's a great call to action. If you watch a video that you're going to implement, or you have implemented, um, either share the video or recap what you're doing and share that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so my first topic to talk <laughs> about is social media which is perfect. Yes. Perfect segue. Social media is huge. Okay. Because it's free advertising. It's free advertising to the masses. Okay. And so specifically I'm talking about, um, like open social media. Bree's going to kind of in the next topic, get into like closed social media, like a VIP group. Those are very important. I love my VIP group. Mm -hmm. It's like my best favorite place to hang out, but I'm talking more about like your Facebook profile, your business page, maybe your Instagram account, maybe if you like Pinterest, a Pinterest account, maybe if you're like a video vlogger, your YouTube account, right? Um, whatever social media platform you're on and you use start there. Yep. Right. Um, so for me, like my audience is on Facebook mostly and Instagram as well. Like my younger customers are on Instagram. My older customers are on Facebook. So I spend my time there. I've yep. also branched out a little bit into YouTube. I haven't seen anything yet, um, but I'm branching out onto YouTube because I'm already consistent on Facebook and I'm already consistent on Instagram and I do videos every week. And so it's something that I can start being consistent on over here in the YouTube world. Okay. So I don't want you to feel like stepping into working your business on social media has to be on all these different platforms. Start where you already are, start where your customers are and be consistent, yep. whether that's, um, Katie, a director in our organization, she, when she first joined, she's like, I'm going to at least post once a day. Yep. I love that. Yep. So you're not being tied down to posting multiple times all day, right? You're not being tied down to being on social media all day. She is just consistent with one post a day. So whether it's one post a day, one post a week, right? Um, one post every Monday, one post every few hours, whatever it is to you, um, start there. I would say start small once a day is, I think is a great goal. If you're talking about posting on Facebook or Instagram or, um, for, you know, branching out into these like 
public networks, um, consistency is going to be key. And I'm not talking about posting flyers. In fact, never post a flyer. Like, never. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that they're, like, in my opinion, if you have information to give, you get a captivating picture and post whatever that was in the flyer in the caption. Mm -hmm. um, because pictures are what stops you. Yep. And flyers, you just keep scrolling by. So that is one of my best tips to new consultants and people trying to um, kind of get into social media in the Cincy world is use real life pictures whenever possible. And they don't even have to be your pictures. Obviously your pictures are great. So your starter kit, yeah. um, you changing your own wax, invest, we, you know, when you're closing out your hostess rewards, like grab some things you haven't tried before. So then you can take pictures and advertise with those, try them out. Right. Um, but there's also a whole world of pictures on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. Okay. Um, on Instagram, I search hashtag Scentsy Snapshot. On Pinterest, I just search Scentsy and I find one current beautiful picture and I just scroll and they're usually right under it. Yep. Okay. So you can find really awesome pictures on Pinterest. And then on Facebook, whatever you're looking for, like the Marrakesh warmer, just type mm -hmm. in Marrakesh warmer and posts will pop up. Find a real life picture that's beautiful and save that picture. Okay. Real life pictures will set you apart. Okay. Oh, a hundred percent. And if you want to challenge that, go on Instagram and do ha search, search hashtag Hensi snapshot, because what people will do is they will post flyers and tag that, um, hashtag. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to go on there or type hashtag Sensi and go through there and see what pictures captivate you. Cause yes. I guarantee you it's not a flyer. And speaking of standing out, I have had a handful of customers find me for the very first time on Instagram by searching hashtag Sensi and somehow my picture captivated them. And then they're looking through my profile and then they're placing an order or they're messaging me to place an order. Why? Because my picture was captivating enough for them to click on it. Yep. And then take it further. They clicked on it and then they're on your page and it's just captivating picture one after the other. You won't okay? see a flyer on my page. Yes. I haven't posted a flyer since like I started my Instagram page. Yes. Like literally I only post real life pictures and I'm also on Instagram. I'm very specific about only posting my pictures. Yes. Same. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. If I'm posting on a public platform, they're my pictures. Yeah. If it's in my VIP group or maybe even on my personal page, if yeah. it's not a warmer I have, I'll post right. like, you know, a picture yeah. I found. Yeah. But so Instagram to me is very personal and my VIP page is very personal too. But if, but like, I'll, I'll even sometimes be like, this isn't my picture or whatever Found this picture yeah. online. Yeah. yeah. But like my Instagram is like a very, like, it's my personal thing. I want people to feel connected to me. So those pictures are mine that I'm posting. Um, and so anyways, yes, setting yourself apart, because I just want you to know that like, you may be the most bomb sensey consultant ever, but there's thousands of other sensey consultants as well. Right. So how we're all selling the same stuff. And it's yes. all amazing, but you have something special to yes. offer. You are your own brand. And right. I know that for, for new consultants, this is like high it's level, hard. like yeah. hard to comprehend. Okay. But like people can buy Scentsy from anyone. Yeah. You can go to Scentsy.com and buy Scentsy. Randomly no choose, connection to a consultant. Randomly choose a consultant. But you have to ask why are successful Scentsy consultants successful? And that is because they are their own brand. Right. right. Like when you think of Brianna, I'm sure there's additional things you think of other than Sensi. Right. And that is because we recognize that it is important to connect with people on a personal level outside of Sensi. Right. Be a well rounded Sensi consultant. Yes. That means share pictures of your dog. Yeah. That means share stuff about your kids or your favorite meal or your favorite coffee or a quote you love or plants or plants, cats, cats, sunsets, yeah. whatever. All of that is very good to share because it's going to get your audience connected to you, trusting you, feeling like they know you. I have people come up to me all the time and say, I feel like I know your kids yeah. from seeing them on Instagram right? They know my kids by name. They know Carson loves popcorn, like all these things. It's because I share in a way that people are connected to me as a mom, yeah. right? And it's not just Sensi. Of course, they know if they need Sensi, like 
they're going to come to me. They're going to refer me, but that's because I have set myself apart as a Cincy consultant. I'm not sharing flyers. I'm not only posting when there's a sale or I need to close an order. No, it's part of my everyday life, but you're also going to see my everyday life as well. Okay. So that is different than like Pinterest. Okay. Um, there are some sense of consultants who rock the heck out of Pinterest. So if you are spending, you know, your whole weekend scrolling Pinterest, looking at recipes, getting ideas for your office or your garage organization or whatever, why don't you just go ahead and start posting some Sensi stuff and link it to your site? It's super easy. Yeah. If yeah. you're already on there all the time scrolling, if you have boards on Pinterest, just filled to the brim with stuff, right? Then that might be an avenue for you. And Pinterest is a lot more like, I would say like a business page yeah. where you can just share items. Like it's just business. Yeah. Sure. Real life pictures are still going to be better there. Yeah. Right. If, and if you want inspiration, find Stacey Beringer on Pinterest. Her Pinterest is amazing and it's um, really well-rounded, but a lot of it is sensey. And um, that, that's a great place for you to start if that's where you want to be. But yeah. It, you, and I would even go as far as to say like for Pinterest, post your best yes. pictures, right? Because yes. Pinterest is only pictures basically, mm -hmm. right? So people are constantly scrolling. Think of yourself on Pinterest, just constantly scrolling and you only click on it when it's like something totally that interests you. Yeah. And so you want to make sure that you, Thank you Morgan. are standing out or you're posting your best pictures on there. Yes. Um, yeah. So still, still needs to be captivating. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and if it's the same flyer that they scrolled and saw four posts up, you know, yeah. that's not going to stand out. So again, real life pictures are going to be great. So I think my main tips for social media, you guys is stay consistent, you know, decide where you're going to spend your focus and be consistent in that, whatever that looks like for you. Right. And you're allowed to change your mind if it's not working or you want to step it up, go for it. But walk into it with consistency. Yeah. Like for me, when I first joined, like I told myself, I'm like, I'm going to do this hell or high water. Like I'm, I'm going for it. What do I have to lose? Right. And so I want to encourage you guys to do that too. It is free advertising for your business. Okay. So find your platforms, stay consistent and don't be afraid to try new things. Okay. I think it's super important. So those are my best tips on social media. Um, but Brie is going to talk a little bit about social media with her topic one-on-one -on -one networking. And I'm going to go get my son. <laughs> oh, okay. it's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. So diving into one-on-one, -on -one, um, networking, I wrote this down and I was like, I had this idea in my head. But I think that it's important that one-on-one -on -one networking can happen on social media. One-on-one -on -one networking can happen anywhere, right? Um, but what my focus, what my thinking was, was those people that you're coming into contact with in person. I guess I should have put in-person networking. Um, but the, those people that you can see, meet, um, and cross paths with on a regular basis, um, like your Starbucks barista, like the grocery store worker, like the post office person, like your mom group, like church on Sundays, um, those, those places that you're going, the gym, wherever, the people who you are coming in contact with in person, there's so much opportunity for you to be working your business just by being in their presence, right? Being branded, so important so important. Being branded sparks conversation, right? It gets people wondering, what is all this? What's going on here, right? Um, and when you go out in public and you're branded and it sparks a conversation, people get to asking, what does that mean? What are you wearing? Um, what is that? Then all of a sudden it opens up that opportunity to talk about your business, right? Um, but with that, with those conversations, I want you to start thinking about, even if you don't own a Sensi hat, even if you don't own a Sensi shirt, even if you don't know where it's at, I don't care. With that, you need to start preparing for what that conversation and what that interaction is going to look like, right? Because don't get, don't, don't get freaked out or um, uh, get your tongue tied when somebody comes and says, what do you mean home fragrance specialist? What does that mean? And you're like, um, mm, uh, yeah, so I do a uh, Sensi, I'm a Sensi consult. Like, no, like you need to 
practice what you're going to say. Yeah. Be prepared. Right. And um, be ready to be confident in what you do. I actually stumbled over my words when uh, our builder asked what I did. Cause I was like, oh, I work from home. And he's like, what do you do? And I was like, um, so dumb. I was like, uh, cause usually I say I own a fragrance and home decor business, but I feel like that a lot of people know what Sensi is. Yeah. And so if I just said Sensi, people would be like, oh yeah. And so I went with that, but I stumbled over my words for a second and I look like such a goof, you guys. I'm so glad nobody was around. <laughs> um, but I said, oh, I, I do Sensi. I sell Sensi. And he's like, oh, my sister. Oh. I was like, okay. Um, but make sure that you're prepared, right? Go into it being confident with it and then be willing to take it a step further, right? Have that conversation and leave it open-ended. <laughs> Bless you. It's, it's magnolia it's, linen, isn't it's it? It's all of it. <laughs> <laughs> so much fragrance right here. Yes. Um, leave it open-ended. And what I mean by that is have samples ready. Have a scent circle ready to give with your information. Have your Amy app ready to be able to take their information, right? If they seem interested, if they're like, oh, I've never heard of that. What, what's that like? You can be like, hey, let me get your address and I'll send you some samples of what it is. And I think that you'll really love it. Or I don't know what that's like. Oh, here's a free scent circle. If you love this, put it in your car. And if you love it, text me or call me and I can tell you how to get more, right? Be prepared and don't leave those conversations without letting them know who you are and how they can get a hold of you or vice versa, right? Mm -hmm. It's not enough to just put on the t-shirt and walk around and hope that somebody asks you about it. You have to be prepared to walk into conversations, okay? And so like, if I get to talking to somebody and we're, and it's a stranger, or even if it's not a stranger, but I get to talking to somebody and we're talking about like what we do for a living or anything like that. I'm going to ask them what they do. And every, if you ask somebody that nine times out of 10, they're going to ask you what you do too. Mm -hmm. Right. And so be prepared with what your answer is going to be and make sure that you are confident in it. Don't be shy about it. And hobbyists, I'm talking to you too. Like if you have another full-time job, that's great. You can, you can lead with that, but then you can also say, and I also sell Sensi on the side yep. because I really love the products because I'm addicted to wax, whatever. Yep. Right. It doesn't have to be your main focus if it's not, but don't be afraid to talk about it. Don't be afraid to walk into that conversation. Don't be afraid to actually be interested in the other person because when you show interest and you make that connection, they'll reciprocate that, okay? Um, and then more than that, when you are part of um, being in person with groups of people like you, uh, your kids are in sports or you're on, um, what is it? PTA, PTA, PTA at your kid's school, or you're at church or what you're inside your community doing whatever you're doing. There are always opportunities that come up where Sensi can be involved. And that again is a no negative situation for you, right? Because you're going to be able to get contacts. You're going to get your name out there. You're going to get people who because the secret, not everybody knows about Sensi, right? So you're going to get people who've never heard of Sensi before thinking about it or in the know or considering it or better yet, buying it or joining, right? And so in those groups that you're already in, if you are part of any type of group, part of any type of club, whatever church, you're, you're attending things regularly with other humans, then look for opportunities where you can insert yourself and your business. So fundraisers, offering samples, offering baskets, raffle baskets, right? All of those are opportunities for you to get your name out there, for you to insert Sensi into the community and for you to brand yourself as the Sensi consultant who uh, you're a sensi consultant but you're also pta mom or you're also brownie scout leader or you're also a volunteer in the uh, children's ministry at church like you've already created a profile for yourself now you can add sensi to it too and people can recognize you as that okay so that's what i'm talking about with one-on-one -on -one networking Social media falls into that because your VIP group is another opportunity for you to have one-on-one -on -one networking. I skipped over that at first, but it's another opportunity for you to have one-on-one -on -one networking. Why? Because a VIP group is intended for you to have direct access to people who are interested, 
know or already love Sensi, right? That's what a VIP customer group should be, period. It should be full of people who already know, like, love, or are interested in Sensi, not for 400 random people of your friends. Do not go mass adding people to your VIP. It should be for customers or on the brink of being a customer. And it should be a space where you are providing value, value of any kind, yeah. right? Comedic value, um, heart to heart value, friends memes, right? But sensi. It should be 80% sensi, 20% whatever else you've got going on, right? Yeah. Your other well rounded profile you've got, you should be sharing that in there as well. And that should be 20% of your content and 80% Sensi. What you're warming today, what new warmer you got, what you're using your discount on, your Sensi brush you're spraying on your bed, the counter clean you're using to clean your kitchen, the wax cubes your kids are piling up, whatever. But it should be full of Sensi content. Why? Because that's, that's the one-on-one -on -one networking that you can provide as a Sensi consultant that creates connections where your customers are getting to know you they're starting to like you and then they'll trust you. And all that is just a gateway for them to be either buying consistently, hosting parties consistently or joining, right? That is the opportunity that stands inside of a VIP group. And that's why if you are a hair over a hobbyist, you should have one. It's not gonna work for everybody. I'm not gonna get into that. We've talked about VIP groups before, but VIP groups are not gonna work for everybody. But the people who VIP groups don't work for are usually the people who are doing something completely different off of social media and do that really well. So if you're like, I don't do VIP groups because I'm texting my customers almost on a daily basis yeah. or whatever, that's great. You yeah. do that. You work with whatever is working for you. But if your PRV is barely at $200 and you are wanting to be a superstar director or make $10,000 paychecks, you got to switch your gears. Yeah. Or if like you're recognizing that like, oh, this person ordered six months ago and I completely forgot about them. Like maybe if you had a VIP group where these people were hanging out and seeing what's going on on a consistent basis, you wouldn't lose customers. Right. 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 A VIP group is a really great way for you to um, stay accountable, right? Yes, to your business. I completely agree with that. Um, because, because you're, because since he's coming out with, excuse me, since he comes out with so much new stuff that you should be sharing literally something every day, right? There should always be content for you to share. Mm -hmm. Um, out, and that's outside of the regular catalog. You literally have a catalog full of amazing things, but outside of the catalog, you literally have amazing stuff to be sharing, um, collections and LTOs and stuff like that. And so there should not be a lack of content for your VIP. Therefore, it should be holding you accountable to making sure that you're consistent with being in your customer group. Yep. I totally agree. And I feel like for some people who are just a hair above being a hobbyist, as Bree says, it's a great thing to explore. It's a great thing to push you to stay consistent in doing more. So if you feel like you are ready to take your business to the next level, but you don't have a VIP group yet, that's going to be my recommendation all the way is try it and be consistent in it. If you're already on Facebook, you know, yeah. And here's the other thing too, is like Nancy said, it's my happy place. We Mine feel too. the same way. And so I would even say if you are like, don't love social media or want to find real connection, create a customer group. And maybe you say, I'm going to start out with 50, 50. I'm going to talk about 70% of the time. And I'm going to talk about other things 50% of the time. Right. And so then it builds up to being your happy place, right? It's mm -hmm. a place that you enjoy. It's a place you want to go to. It's the first thing you check in the morning and your customers are creating connection. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I agree. And so um, your customer group should be your happy place. And when it's your happy place, it'll be your customer's happy place too. During 2020, I had so many people want to get off social media, but they stayed because they loved the content that I was providing. I don't think that was the only reason, but I had a lot of customers tell me like, 
I don't want to miss out on what's going on. I love seeing your content. Mm -hmm. You're like that, that speaks volumes, right? And so your content should be one that is valuable and that is uplifting to you and to those around you. And you're providing Sensi content, right? Because yep. you're still a Sensi consultant too. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the other thing with one-on-one -on -one networking that you can be looking for is events, right? Every community, every town, every city has some sort of an a, some sort of an event on a yearly basis at the minimum. Mm -hmm. Okay, get your foot in the door. I don't care if you have to go knocking on doors. On, search on Facebook local events, yep. farmers markets, right? Especially around the holidays, you guys, events go wild. There is no shortage of events. And, and it's such a good way to get your name out yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. In your local community. For sure. And not, I know, I know some people run into this problem where events don't like direct sales or they want you to have a ton of stock. And Sensi is not a company that encourages stock and, um, and we can't do anything about the no direct sales thing, but we're not, we're a company that does not encourage stock. So I've done events. They were mostly for my family um, back in California and it was what it was, but I didn't carry a ton of stock either. What my goal was, was to gain new customers yep. by getting their information, having a good first impression, right? Providing what little stock I had and um, reaching out to them again later, right? Making sure that my follow-up game was strong moving forward um, so that I could keep those connections alive. I, that, that's my goal during events is to meet as many people as possible um, and to exchange names and information so that they see my face, they know I'm a Sensi consultant and I can do the rest later. I can get them whatever they want later. Yeah. Um, so events are in a really great place to start. And I'm... Uh, mark my words, I'm gonna have to start doing it because I'm yeah. in a totally new place. And so I'm going to have to start getting my name out there and doing something else. And so, um, just know that like stepping outside of your comfort zone, I get is scary and I get that it's hard, but it's, if you want to take your business to high places, you, you have to, you, it's sink or swim. No, you can't be one foot in to the deep end. You have to dive in. You just gotta go for it. Yeah. Yeah. And again, like I said, if you want to take your business to high places, if you want to chill as a hobbyist and, yeah, and do totally. your thing, do it. Do your thing. Yeah. We're going to be cheering you on. But if you're wanting something more, then you have to do more, period. You have to do more. Yep. No flying by the seat of your pants if you're trying to build and, and go high with your Cincy business. Yep. You have to just decide and hold yourself accountable and go for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm going to talk about different ways that you can work in the party scene of things. And Cassandra asked, what would you suggest if someone who doesn't leave the house, but once a week partying, that is what I would suggest. Mm -hmm. I think partying is an amazing way to grow your network. And I'm not going to go super deep into all the different types of parties that there are, but I do want to encourage you to find a way or two that you can party in your business to be pulling new contacts into your business who are actually buying who are interested enough to be visiting your website, clicking things, adding them to their cart, checking out more people that you can text with, follow up with, offer additional things to. Okay. Parties are the, um, bread and butter of our Sensi business. And now things have changed so much between when Sensi mm -hmm. started in, what was it? 2004, mm -hmm. um, to now, uh, 2022. Right. Yeah. Um, but since he is a party planning business, which means when you get multiple people looking at Sensi products together, really awesome things happen. People buy Sensi, you get high PRV, you get new customers, you get people booking more parties, you get people joining your team a lot easier when you are partying. Now, now with social media, with COVID, with um, the change of just social media in general, um, entrepreneurship in general, um, accessibility to information. Um, there's now a million and five ways to party too. So like there's the traditional home party, which is my favorite. I love it. I, do. I love doing a home party. I can easily sell a grand worth of Sensi yep. if I can get five to seven people together yep. showing off the products in real life, nothing like it. If you haven't had a home party, like 
I highly recommend doing a home party, even if it's for yourself. Yep. Yep. Um, back before COVID, I would have open houses two times a year where twice a year I would pick a Friday. I would do like an afternoon slot and an evening slot. And my customers loved them. Like they were always popping. My customers loved them. And it was an amazing way to meet new people in my community. My customers would bring a friend. It's like um, an amazing way to get your business out there in your community. So if you haven't done a home party or a launch party or an open house, those are amazing. Okay. See if your best friend or your sister will do a home party for you and, you know, meet her coworkers, meet her friend's aunt who comes with her, right? People love Scentsy. And I think people miss the connection of getting together and smelling scents and um, things like that. So I think home parties or in-person things are great. You can also do work pop-ups where you come during someone's lunch break, right? And set up the testers or grab bags where you give it to a teacher and she puts it in the break room and lets people know, hey, my consultant's closing an order on Friday, right? Um, or you can mail testers to someone who lives a few states over and give them their own party link and check in with them every other day, encouraging them to post on their social media or text a few friends or um, whatever, right? Share the testers with their coworkers. Um, you can do Facebook parties, right? Where um, you create a group and you bring everyone in and you showcase products over a certain amount of days or maybe go live, right? You can do themed parties where you do bingo or, um, you know, dress Taco up, Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, Margarita Monday. <laughs> you can do, there's so many themes that you can do like during the um, Halloween, you could do like a dress up party. That's super fun. Okay. There's a million different um, types of parties that you could do. Um, online and in person, both. Um, what else? Uh, personal shopping links are really great too. That's where um, you have your aunt who lives in Florida and they've ordered with you three times since you joined. Why don't you go ahead and create them their own party where they're the host and she can order under that party. She can share that link with her friends and family, right? Um, she can collect orders using her party link and rack up rewards. There's a million different ways that you can party where you are getting new eyes and new customers onto your business. Okay. Partying is an amazing way to expand your business because you never know when you're going to meet your next VIP customer. You never know when you're going to meet that customer who then joins Sensi Club and has a $200 club coming every month. Or you never know where um, you're having a party and at that party, someone book five people book a party. They just love that party so much that everyone there booked a party, right? Or um, you have someone who hosts a party and they want to join. And so then they join and hit shooting star and all of a sudden they're certified and recruiting and you have a rock star teammate under you because of this one party, right? I remember as a new consultant, I was about six months into my business and I had, at the time there was no Amy app and um, all that. I had a follow-up binder. So I had all my order forms with a little sticker on them. And I would write the date that they ordered, the date that they got it, the date, blah, blah, blah. And I'm shuffling all these things. Okay. But I remember I was about six months into my business and I did home parties and Facebook parties at the beginning of my business. I really, I read my new consultant guide and it said to have a party and it talked about the different types of parties. And I, I didn't have an upline helping me at all. Okay. And so all I had was YouTube and my new consultant guide. And I remember my new consultant guide telling me to party. So I partied. And I remember six months later, shuffling through my follow-up binder. And I didn't recognize many of the names. There was, you know, my mom here, my um, sister and a friend, but a big chunk of those orders were people I didn't even know. Some of them are on my team now. Some of them are VIP customers now. Some of them have Sensi clubs with me now all the way from almost seven years ago. And I remember sifting through those order forms being like, dang, this is awesome because I don't know so many of these people. These are people that I have met and they're now in my network of people. Okay. So parties are an amazing way to grow your business and you just have to trust the process. Okay. With all of this, with all of this, you just have to trust that if you are showing up consistently and trying your best, that your hard work will pay off. Cincy, mm -hmm. this Cincy business is very good about rewarding your hard work because, and this is what I tell my teammates and people joining, like, this is a real business. 
there are thousands and thousands and thousands of successful Sensi consultants. If you want to make this business successful, you can. You can. It has nothing to do with not knowing how to do it because the information is out there. You can go learn it, right? They say it's not a skill problem. It's a will problem. And it's, yeah. it's if you're willing to show up and try new things and do the work and be consistent, you will see success with Sensi. Okay. I had one of my frontline consultants yesterday or today, Chantel, she's rocking it. She joined at the beginning of this month. She's already sponsored three people. She's about to um, triple promote to star consultant this month. And I giggled at her post because she's like, how do I get more people interested? I've tried this and I've tried this and I've tried this and I've tried this and I've tried this and, tried this and it's not really going anywhere. And I'm just like, you know, it's funny because she's, she's rocking it. She's doing amazing. Um, but I saw someone, I forget who I remembered earlier, but I saw someone post in the comments, just keep doing what you're doing. And it's like, bingo, yep. like that literally is it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Like, just keep going. It all adds up. Mm -hmm. It all adds up. If you show up consistently, every day or in a way that works best for you, but it's consistent, you will look back and see your growth. Okay. And at any time you can step it up or at any time you can turn around, admire your work and be proud of yourself. I highly encourage that. That's a yeah. cool feeling. Yeah. It's a cool feeling to be like, dang, like, look at that difference. Like I see, I recognize the difference. So celebrate all of that. Right. But I want to just encourage you guys to like really decide and go for it. Because if you want that, it will come to you. You just have to be consistent and be working with intention, okay? And so these ways to work are, you know, it's just a starting point. It's just some ideas for you to then see what might work in your business or in your everyday life and plug some things in, stay consistent with them, readjust or add new things in as you go. And so if you find that you're working your business and you're loving it and your PRV is good and you're meeting new people and, and you're, you're kind of digging the sensey thing, and maybe you're ready to start having joint conversations, or um, maybe you're just curious about what your business would look like with a few people on your team. I want to encourage you at that point to go for it. At that point, step into joint conversations and, um, you know, trying to build your team, focus on um, recruiting, sharing the joint opportunity, sharing the behind the scenes consultant stuff, offering it to your customers. That's an amazing way to work, but you have to get these basics down first and see if that's what you want to do, right? See if you're interested in stepping into leadership. If you see the vision with Cincy and you want to walk towards leadership, but even if you're not there yet as a hobbyist or um, in it for the discount, or you're just getting started, you have to find ways that you're going to work your business. And so I hope for you guys that this was helpful for you and that you can share this with your new consultants, or maybe people who are feeling stuck, like they don't know what else to do. Um, hopefully this will be a good, um, video for them to watch and get inspired and, um, go out there searching for tools that they can implement. Right. Yep. Yeah. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me stop this.